Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, if I was given this equation, 3x plus 5y equals a negative 5. <coughs> well, what I like to do is get this into my slope-intercept form, from our standard form. So, that means getting y by itself. So, I'm going to subtract the 3x to both sides. And that leaves me with a 5y by itself on the left equals, I'm going to put negative 3x first, minus 5. Okay. So we have 5y equals negative 3x minus 5. But then from there, I need to go y by itself still, so I'm going to divide by 5. Now make sure you divide by 5 to both sides under both parts over here. Don't forget, don't, not just on one, both of them. y is by itself now, <clears throat> so y equals. Our slope here, uh, our end value in front of x, right, it is negative 3 fifths x. And then 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we have minus there, so we have minus 1. So now we have our slope intercept form. y is by itself. So our y intercept is negative 1, that b value right there. So we have negative 1 right there. And our slope is negative 3 fifths. So we're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3 over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we got a dot right here, and that coordinate point right here is 5, comma, negative 4. Okay? And if we wanted to, we also can go up 3 units to the left 5, right? So if we go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3, we can go left 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. So, and that coordinate point would be 5, comma, positive 2. So we connect these dots. Not the best, this angle, but there we go. Guess we should really be using a straight edge, but and there we have it. We have our line. So let's go through a quick recap here. We're given three x plus five equals five y equals negative five. I want to get it in uh, slope-intercept form, so I get y by itself. So I subtracted 3x to both sides, and then I divided by 5 to both sides. Make sure when you divide by 5 is to everything on both sides. This gave me y by itself, and that was y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 1. Negative 1 was where we crossed the y-axis, and negative 3 fifths was our slope. So we applied that uh, both ways, in a sense, from that main point to get our final answer at 